Good evening guys from Senator's Wash. I hope you're having a great day. It is the evening hour and I thought I'd just come down to the uh, beach here and go fishing for catfish. I've done quite a bit of snorkeling and uh, swimming around here and I know right out there is a very deep hole. And generally speaking, catfish like to hang out in deep holes. Okay, today's bait is not this piece of burrow shit. It is octopus. I really like using this stuff for uh, bait because it stays on the hook amazingly well. The water has come down quite a bit guys, but the name of the game here is just cast this out and let it sit. Nice. So it's always a good idea to get your drag adjusted right for uh, what you're fishing for and how much you'd like it to uh, pull and then reel up as much slack as you can. And then you just kind of sit back and enjoy the ride. One of the benefits of uh, sitting still like this is you can really get to be a good observer and I just received confirmation that those uh, big boils or big uh, splashes in the water are carp. Uh, one just happened right in front of me here and it was a big old yellow ugly carp. So. I think I'm gonna uh, make up some type of a carp bait. Uh, I know uh, dough works well, bread works well. We don't have a uh, can of corn, but I think if I could catch one of those uh, big old carp on light enough tackle, it'd probably be a lot of fun. Well, look who decided to join me. I forgot one key component here though. No, I think I got it. Comfort. It's... I am comfortable while catfishing. You're sitting in the kayak out of the water. The kayak was closer than the uh, chair to bring down to the beach. Mm. And the kayak has a built-in rod holder and drink holder. Let's talk about yesterday's video. All right. Uh, the inspiration for that video came from a TV show that we're watching on Netflix called The Kindness Diaries. And it's about a guy who travels around and they say he's riding this motorcycle around the world, but that's full of shit. He's actually probably getting that thing like trucked between location and location. But the premise of the show is he finds people that are willing to uh, feed him and let him stay the night. And he's also like a secret millionaire and he gives people, you know, money, money and gifts and things they need. Yeah. But that show got my wheels turning, especially when we're making daily vlogs, because every day is kind of like a challenge on what am I going to do today? Mm -hmm. type of deal and this just seemed like an amazing kind of social experiment it's definitely a question we all ask ourselves right like would we stop and pick somebody up and does it matter what you look like or if you're a nice looking guy or if you are with a woman or without one I was a little surprised that I mean I guess we kind of got offers for rides but yes. it wasn't at a at that at precise that exact moment, moment yeah. which I appreciate. You oh, know, definitely. it's a good drive into town from here. Exactly. And... It was just interesting. Yeah. That's all I can really say. And I thought I had no idea when you made the video yesterday what it was going to turn out like, but I actually was really impressed and enjoyed how it ended up coming together mm. and the way it made you think. And thank you. So you liked to get it? I did. I enjoyed it. Cool, I thanks. really wasn't sure. I was kind of like, Rrr. yeah, she yeah. makes that noise a lot when I come up with some video ideas. <laughs> but some of them turn out to be great, some like the do. campground host video. <laughs> that was awesome. That was painfully awesome. Yes, yes. it was. <clears throat> well, there's definitely a uh, change in the weather. It's uh, not blistering hot, mm -hmm. it's warm. Mm -hmm. And I think it only got up to about 90 today, and tomorrow it's probably going to only be in the low 80s, but the wind is coming in and potentially some rain, so who knows about that, because it is the desert still. But change is happening. But there's a really nice breeze today, so it made, like the, uh, for as long as we've been staying here, every day you hit about 5 o'clock and it, it just is like, oh 
sweltering. And today, just really comfortable. Not bad at all. Yeah. I think there was like one time where I kind of thought, oh, I'm really hot, so I went for a swim. I think I only went swimming once with Remy and uh, once when we kind of cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Which says a lot because on the uh, hot days, there were like five or six trips down to the water to cool off. So as we're talking about this video, we want to let you know that it hasn't been published yet. It's going to publish tomorrow morning, and we ended up recording two videos in one day. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But I have no idea what the uh, public reaction is going to be to this. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what they think of it and what people's yeah. comments are. I think Shelby and I are going to mosey on back up to the RV if you're done with us. Uh, I'm not done with you, but I'm going to stay down here. I'm going to go back up. All right. Well, thanks for stopping in. No problem. I'm going to close this video out. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you hit subscribe. And uh, if I do catch a fish, I'll make sure to bring a camera out.